hi all we can see the numericals in the friction topic this is the continuation of uh, friction uh, video number 4 and we have numericals in this we shall see the numericals so now we'll read out the question once before um, seeing the solution of the numerical log a weighing 1000 newton rest over block b so here you can see block A and B. Block A is having the weight of 1000 Newton. It rests over B which weighs 2000 Newton as shown in the figure. Block A is tied to a wall. So this is the wall with a horizontal string. This is string. We always know that the string cables ropes will produce tensile force T. If the coefficient of friction between A and B is 1 fourth and between B and the floor is one third. So between A and B the friction is one fourth and between B and um, the floor is one third. What should be the value of P to move the block if P is horizontal and the P acts 30 degree upwards to the horizontal. So they are having the two cases which is P is pulled in the horizontal direction and even the peel, P hacks 30 degree upwards to the horizontal. So we need to solve two different numericals. Now we shall see how to draw free body diagram for the first condition. Now we shall consider P has horizontal only. Okay. So this is the free body diagram for A and B. We'll see the in, we'll see this one individually. See the block A. See the block A which is having the weight of 1000 Newton as said in the question is 1000 Newton. So it is resting in vertically downward direction. Okay. Facing downward direction W you can see that this is 1000 Newton. Okay. And in the block A you can see um, string horizontal string tied to the uh, wall. Yes. This one T. So it produces a uh, tensile force as we already know that strings always produce tensile force. Right. Tensile force means the arrow mark goes away from the point of uh, contact, right? So from this point, tensile force acts like this and um, it is a pulling force. That's why the arrow mark is facing outward direction, right? Then we have a contact surface in the towards A and B in the midpoint. That is this particular point. So we are naming it as N1. The normal reaction towards A is taken as N1. Okay. So the applied force C, this block is being pulled in um, wall position, pulled towards the wall position. You can see here. So obviously the friction will act opposite to the movement of the body. Means the body is being pulled like this. Means the friction will be in opposite direction. Yes, you can see F1 like this. Right. So now we shall see the B block. The B block is having the weight of 2000 Newton. Right. So this is 2000 Newton W. And we will name the reaction for B block as N2. And this lies exactly in the point of contact. That is mid of the point of contact. Right. This is N2. It will, it will be like this. Right. Then the applied force for this is the P. Right. Already the uh, direction is given. So just mark it as such right so we need to uh, draw a friction for this see the body is moving in this direction means then the friction will be in the opposite uh, to that of uh, the movement of the body so f2 lies in the opposites of p whereas for the first case it is like tensile uh, force is towards the wall so the friction is opposite side of wall but here the applied force is opposite to that of wall so the friction will be towards the wall so this is the free body diagram for this particular question okay now we shall solve with this free body diagram we shall solve the first case p is horizontal we have a hint that block a is tied to the wall with a horizontal string and if the coefficient of friction between a and b is one fourth they are saying that mu is equal to one by four right so for the first case between block A and B, we have a hint that the coefficient of friction mu is equal to F by N is equal to 1 by 4. So, you will get F1 is equal to 2, um, 140. First, we shall find out using the equilibrium conditions. 
okay so in this free body diagram so we can use fbd now so now we shall consider only the block a so this block a consists of 1 2 3 4 four forces in this four forces you have two vertical forces and two horizontal forces so first we shall deal with vertical forces because you have one one known force and one unknown force so summation of vertical forces equal to zero so we always used to take upward as positive and downward as negative with respect to that we can get n1 um, n plus n1 minus 1000 is equal to zero it will become n1 is equal to 1000 newton yes we got the value for n1 and we already know that mu is equal to f by n sorry uh, mu is equal to f1 by n1 because this is between a and b we are we are naming the values in uh, values of this a block as n1 f1 so we shall take f1 by n1 is equal to 1 by 4 so using the first euclid equilibrium condition we got n1 as 1000 so f1 will automatically will uh, become 250 newton because 1 4th of 1000 newton is 250 newton okay now we shall deal with uh, the horizontal forces that is t and f so plus f1 minus t is equal to 0 so it will become t is equal to f1 we have f1 value so that same you can substitute t is equal to 250 newton yes we have found that now we can go for considering the block b so this block b you can see that it is having um, see always you need to draw the um, normal reaction and friction in wherever you see the contact surface right whenever you see a contact surface you need to draw a normal reaction so with respect to um, the rough surface of the wall we noted that n2 okay with respect to a and b another uh, one more uh, re, um, normal reaction we have that is n1 just draw n1 up in the opposite direction of the body right the normal reaction should be always facing the body and in the point mid of the point of contact the same we have done okay for um, like for a block the friction will be in the opposite direction of the rope tight but for b block the friction both the friction will be in the opposite direction of the applied force yes f1 and f2 just mention it okay so we have one two three four five forces yes five forces along with that one um, self weight so considering the block b we shall see how many forces we have how many horizontal forces one two three we have three horizontal forces and we have one two n1 n2 and w three vertical forces by resolving it we will get see by resolving the vertical force we are getting already we know the value for n1 using that um, we have found n2 so n2 is equal to 3000 right so for f2 um, it is said that the limiting friction that mu2 is equal to um, f2 by n2 is equal to one third it is already mentioned in the question right so between the block b and the floor is one third the frictional coefficient so the same we are applying here so f2 will become so see mu is equal to f by n which is equal to one third so f is equal to mu into n2 by substituting this you will get f again by using by um, like resolving the horizontal forces using the equilibrium condition summation of f of x is equal to 0 again we have uh, um, three horizontal forces here see three horizontal forces 1 2 3 f1 f2 and p the three you need to um, write with respect to the direction whereas the right side um, arrow mark will will be positive and uh, this is positive and this both is negative using that we have found e minus f1 minus f2 it will like we already know f1 value through the first case through the first subdivision in the case one and uh, f2 we have found now um, by adding this to you we will be getting the value for uh, like applied force p okay this is the first case and we'll see for uh, second case that is p is inclined p is inclined 30 degrees right as already mentioned in the uh, question p acts 30 degree upwards to the horizontal 